Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Gemini, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Gemini. As well, if you enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, Gemini. I would really appreciate it, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Uh, I also did your bonus reading, uh, Gemini, which I'll leave a link to somewhere around here for you to check out if you'd like. But when it comes to my weekly tarot readings and just my tarot readings in general, uh, Gemini, we're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live, Gemini, not mine and not these tarot cards. I believe they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never treating tarot as if they should make a decision in your life because it is your life to live, Gemini, not mine and all these tarot cards so all that being said let's now finally get into your weekly reading so gemini i pulled some tarot cards for you just so i could get an idea of where you guys are currently at right now so we have the knight of earth or the knight of pentacles for you we have these the eight of fire or the eight of wands for you gemini with the five of earth or five of pentacles as well as the dreamer card archangel metatron number zero right the number zero down for numerology as well gemini so you can look that up at a later point and see how it all correlates for you uh so give me a moment gemini as i figure out how this puzzle wants to go how does the story want to be told I feel like this is where we would start, and then with this, we go into the here, and then here, and then here. All right, so, <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind. Uh, we'll start with your five of earth, or your five of pentacles. This card says, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So, with this five of pentacles, whatever your situation is, there is something that rather that you're feeling anxious about, something that uh, you don't feel quite is, uh, you know, feels up in the air, doesn't quite feel rooted, right? You don't know what the outcome is going to be like. And maybe even for some of you Geminis, you can't even quite make sense as to what is even going on in the first place of like to even try to figure out how to decipher it, Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what cards we can get to see what messages or what clarifiers we can get for this five of pentacles. Um, like what it is that you're feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit, you know, the five of pentacles does represent as well the, um, you know, not feeling like you belong somewhere, right? Or feelings of rejection that could, that card can come forward, come forward for you when you are experiencing rejection of some sort. But the clarifiers we have the page of cups with the three of pentacles as well as the king of swords so you could be dealing with some type of air sign another air sign gemini but there is something that for whatever it is you're feeling anxious about you try to keep a pretty level head about it you try to it feels like be like the um adult in the situation and allow it to really grow allow the situation to have you grow and anyone if there was anyone else involved grow from the situation in gemini but it doesn't really feel like um that's quite happening uh for you when you have it with this five of earth um you know with this three of pentacles this could just mean in terms of like uh this could be for this is the card of like contracts and collaborative uh energies so this could be in terms of like you know especially with that five of earth saying like uh worrisome in terms of your employment this could be also just worrisome in terms of just like uh you know, you know i'm hearing like the phrase why can't everybody just get along right for this right this is maybe what you're saying in a situation regardless of it you're just really trying to be as malleable 
as possible to feel as Gemini in this situation. Even though you're not feeling very good about it, you're just trying to rectify the situation, right? You're trying to keep a level head about it, a non-biased view or an opinion on it. You're trying to understand perspectives and trying to appreciate like why it's even there in the first place right you know and, and probably it's just overall a tough pill to just swallow and let it go by but i see you trying to right because with this page of cups this is just an energy so much of where you just it can't kind of feels like gemini you're you're holding out uh really hard for something to just come into fruition you're really hoping just for like that silver lining and that's what's making you maintain that's what's giving you and helping you maintain some level of optimism is because you're hoping as if like, you're hoping that at some point like a, a fresh not i want to say a fresh start but like at some point you're going to catch your break right at some point things are just going to work itself out naturally and just go back to this a nice normal flow right for some of you guys gemini you may just be craving some sort of sense of normality in your life and so how do you even get there we have the eight of fire coming in or the eight of wands gemini this card says events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things are happening at once right so this card in normal tarot you'll see the eight of wands and maybe we'll even pull it so i can show you it but in normal tarot the eight of wands is a card of where grabbing up at things and letting go of other things that are just not uh working out you know you're grabbing up at each wand and just feeling out how it feels when you hold it and stuff like that figuring out what it is that sticks and what it is that inspires you and what it is that motivates you to go forward right um at the when it comes to this card especially in this dynamic from before uh because everything feels like up in the air maybe this you know you probably feel like some sense of urgency on needing to take care of it gemini and do get this sense for a lot of you gemini's this is not a situation of where you can even allow it to like like for you yourself it feels like you're um because you just care so much about things just like finally going good for you you want to just rectify things immediately the moment you identify it or the moment like it starts going on like you want to just rectify it and fix it immediately and if it doesn't happen or if there's resistance if there's other people um there's a sense of like giving up or the sense of feeling really defeated um and so i really kind of get this sense gemini where it's like there's certain things that you all want to cling on to and maybe it's like a concept of where or the idea of that having like certain things working out in such a certain structured way fact of the matter is that's not the case uh gemini this is a card of where it's kind of like you throw spaghetti at a wall or you throw it at a wall and see what sticks right don't be so, so gung-ho on um being insistent on things needing to pan out in one specific way don't um <clears throat> you no know, at this time this isn't really you, a matter of you needing to find something to excel at gemini immediately or something for you to immediately feel comfortable with i don't feel like i feel like if you're starting to feel comfortable in this a situation that's kind of like a sign that you're not doing something enough right and so that's something i do want to say of where it's just like you know you're remaining hopeful on a situation but you kind of have to accept that some things may not a story may not end the way that you want so clarifiers i have those the sun card with the six of swords the hermit card with the king of wands so yeah gemini there is this sense of we kind of hatch it to yeah, accept that certain things you know certain things are just not going to be part of your storyline anymore is something that i'm hearing and getting with these cards right you know you're trying so hard to be malleable you're trying so hard to have certain situations just work out maybe in such a in such a structured way or a way that you envision uh things needing to be worked out even if you yourself think um gemini that this is like the best way like easiest way for everybody involved you know the other people if there are other people involved in the situation they may not see it that way so at some point gemini you kind of have to learn to when to identify letting go of the situation here 
the hermit card and the king of wands this is just very much so an energy of where it's just like some at some time at some points gemini you kind of have to just uh decide that you know you kind of have to go figure out when to identify that at some points when you stop trying with something and you just continue on without that thing being part of it, uh your situation anymore you know there are some resistances that are meant to you know have you identify it and have you let go of it right and it does feel as if uh for you gemini's you guys are clinging on to certain things that you shouldn't be clinging on to as hard and not grabbing up at certain other things because you're so busy clinging on to the, those old things or, or old patterns right does that make sense gemini and as i was saying from before uh i feel like you need to make yourself a little bit more uncomfortable getting out of your comfort zone gemini right so we have this knight of pentacles or the knight of earth uh coming in for you this card says time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments or a guardian angel coming in right so i really i don't feel like i mentioned it uh gemini but when archangels come forward in the reading i always like to say if you're open uh if your belief system is open to that what it is your practices are it's not my business gemini right but archangel metatron especially when this dynamic the guardian angel literally says it really strongly uh metatron is trying to reach out to some of you gemini's perhaps to really work with him and uh he can help you adopt a little, you know going down this new path um but getting a little bit ahead of ourselves gemini we have with this knight of earth here this is you know just the card of you know i mean i guess the card itself kind of self-explanatory it's just like buckling down and kind of accepting things as they are and just continuing to push forward without it gemini you know this is just such a time of where you know at this point you kind of want to crave new energy you want to crave being uh crave a little bit of discomfort right because it's where this discomfort comes from it's from this discomfort that really is taking you to where it is that you need to be right? and i'm just noticing the back of this deck as well we have the page of water page of cups coming in for you again so i'll read off this card as well the new person enters your life relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities so yeah gemini i really do you know page of water really can signify you know as i was saying a new person coming into your life or a new opportunity what i really wanted to hone in on for this message though is because pages represents new energy uh and the knight of pentacles is going out into uncharted territory new territory right so this is really uh, such an emphasis on new things not really harboring on or meddling with things that are in your past or in your even in your current like you want to just continue focusing on being like what is the next big project right what is the what is next rather than um looking back if that makes sense so yeah let's get a little bit uh let's pull some cards see if we can get a little bit more clarification on what this journey of the knight of pentacles or the knight of earth looks like for you right we know that you're going into their um, venturing into this new journey gemini but let's get a little bit more detail so we have the page of wands this is a fresh start card i always say in gemini the six of pentacles with the two of pentacles so the crossroads this is the crossroads right this is where i feel like for you gemini this is kind of like your test or your challenge and i feel like this has been like a repetitive thing uh for some of you gemini's that's occurred in your life numerous times but you haven't necessarily uh completed it the first couple of times around perhaps because it seems like with this two of pentacles and the six of pentacles this is like the energy or the narrative of where it's just like you kept feeding into something that just was not like you kept choosing the path or you kept uh juggling so much on your plate uh gemini and you weren't getting like that equal return back right so you're investing a lot of energy you're investing like you know it's like you're investing five bucks into something and you were getting like 250 back like you were never getting a positive return from it you were never in the green because you were juggling with so much um trying to make so many things work in such a structured way i can't help but feel like for you gemini's there's like this need to release this desire to have things just work out in the way that you're envisioning i really do feel like you know you're being malleable 
in the wrong ways, I'll say, Gemini, if this is resonating for you, is that you're trying to be as malleable as possible to make a situation pan out in a narrative that you're envisioning. But you need to be more malleable in the way of just allowing the narrative and how the narrative is going to play out in the first place, right? Because I do just get like this little bit of resistance with this page of wands where it's like, Spirit's trying to bring forward to you, Gemini, this like fresh start, like cleaning this like uh, numerous readings, Gemini. Uh, if you're familiar with my readings, you'll know. I always say this is like a fresh slate, a completely clean plate. You go from juggling a bunch of plates, right, to now just like completely like, you know, you can go back to the buffet with a completely new plate to decide from there, like what it is that you want to have on your plate. And yeah. And going into that energy, right, we go into your final card, the dreamer card, or this is the normal tarot, this would be the fool. This is you going into your new path. This card says, a leap of faith, follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities. So yeah, this is all going into your uh, new path, right? Unexpected opportunities, a leap of faith. You know, and something I want to point out as well, I kept on saying, Gemini, like this obsession that I feel like some of you have with having certain things play out in a specific narrative. Uh, the unexpected opportunities is something I want you to hone in on is because it's like, this is like one of those unpredict unpredictable things. You don't know how things are going to pan out. You don't know how the story even ends because you're just starting a new story, Gemini. So if you're starting to lose faith and being like, I don't know how, like, you know, maybe you envision your life in such a way where it's like, you don't want to be dealing with like financial struggles anymore. You want to be self-employed. Uh, you want to find that love, right? Maybe you have it such envisioned in such a way where it's like you're going to be getting that income in a structured way where it's just like you're going to find like that promising uh, job, corporate job that's going to just really give you good benefits and all that. Or you want you find that person that meets you at like, you know, a country club or something like that. You have a structured way of how you want your life to planned out, planned out, and you think of it in such great ways. And spirit's kind of saying, she's like, well, we're not saying you don't deserve that, uh, though that self sufficiency, that self employment, that you know, that abundance that you're searching for in love and finances. Gemini spirit is trying to say, he's like, let's you know, maybe be a little bit more flexible about it. Maybe instead of it being like a corporate job, it is something entirely different, and you're actually starting to get paid for like your art in some way, right? Something that you normally would be extremely uncomfortable with, right? Because again, remembering that Knight of Pentacles from before Libra, of um. I called you Libra, Gemini. I apologize. That Knight of Pentacles from before, Gemini, where you're going into new territory. So, uh, yeah. All that in mind, let's just pull some Oracle cards before we wrap up this reading for you. Uh, I don't feel like using this deck, actually. Or do we? No, yeah, I feel like using this deck. I take, take it back, I take it back. We're going to use this uh, Oracle deck, uh, Gemini, to see what comes forward for you guys. Right, you guys got two cards actually you got it's number 41 equaling to five the nightingale love is all around and then you have the flamingo spirit number 26 equaling to eight embrace the in-between hmm. so i feel like this is one of those things of where for some of you gemini's you kind of have to be comfortable and embrace like the trend like you know like that awkward phase that transition process where everything is kind of up in the air you may not know how your story is going to play out you may not know the feelings of that person right but end of the day you know kind of enjoy the journey but don't be so focused on the goal right you may want to be self-employed but like you know be excited about how you end up getting that self-employment happens right be happy at the fact that it be excited that it, for it to happen and not so focused on like the details and how it should happen so yeah gemini that's the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this weekly tarot reading be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do um, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini. If you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not Gemini, be sure to send them one of my videos and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, my beautiful Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.